All the math you need to know to run EULA in 3 minutes or less. Let's go. EULA is a cryo claymore user who can only be run as a physical on-field DPS. Her normal attack is a physical 5 hit combo that hits 7 times. Her tap skill is a quick cryo swipe that gives you a Grimheart stack. These stacks give you defense and interruption resistance. Her hold skill expends these stacks to do more damage and shred enemy physical and cryo resistance. Her burst is a large cryo swipe that summons a floating sword which follows her around and each skill slash attack that you hit from this point on will power up the sword and after 7 seconds it will explode, dealing a large amount of physical damage. Because most of her damage comes in her burst, you always want to run her with at least one other cryo character to generate energy. You also want an electro character to cause superconduct. Her most common composition will probably look like this. This requires the least effort to upkeep Eula's energy cost. You can use Kaya instead of Rose, however Rose performs better in most scenarios. If your characters are well invested, you can consider swapping the third Crow character for Beidou. Right, this team outputs go. the most damage of Eula's teams, but also requires tighter rotations and energy funneling. Both Eula and Beidou need about 140 ER in this composition. Lastly, if you have him, you can swap Diona for Zhang Li to provide a stronger shield and more interrupt resistance, but only if you can fund Eula using your other cryo support. For her weapons, on average, the best 5 star is Wolf's Gravestone, closely followed by her signature weapon, Song of Broken Pines. Most 5 stars will beat any 4 star. Her best 4 star is the Battle Pass weapon, Serpent Spine, archaic, trailing a bit behind. Lithic would be better, but it's practically impossible to get even a 2 stack without severely gimping your team composition. Her best artifact set is easily 4 piece Pale Flame. However, 2 Pale Flame 2 Bloodstained, or 2 Pale Flame 2 Gladiators performs only slightly worse. She will use the normal primary stats, a crit headpiece to give you the best ratio, physical damage percent cut, and attack sands. For substats, prioritize getting ER up to 140%. After that, crit stats and then attack percent. Lastly, her combos. Because her last attack takes the longest to come out, her best normal attack combo is 4 attacks and then an E or dash to cancel it. Her accepted best skill rotation is as follows. Tap skill, then her elemental burst, and then 4 normal attacks. Then her hold skill, another 4 normal attacks, and then the sword should explode. At C0, this will give you a burst of 12 to 13 stacks. And I'm out of time. If this video helped you, then consider liking and subscribing. And check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash KurtikaZen. We're gonna one cycle this guy. After that, we're gonna chill out. <laughs> Share this video with a friend for a bit of vengeance, and thanks for watching.